Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Pillow Talk. And this is a 1959 film starring Rock Hudson and Doris Day from director Michael Gordon, and I'm doing this as part of Instagram community's hashtag 14 Days of Romcom. And this is a romantic comedy from the late 50s, and boy does it really feel like it's from the late 50s. I'm going to talk about what I do like about the film, then I'm going to talk a little bit about why this film doesn't necessarily work anymore. But right off the bat, there's a vibrance, there's a color palette, there's a design to this film that brings a lot of life out. It's well shot, Gordon does a great job of directing this film and bringing some vibrance and energy to it. There's some fun music to it. The opening credit scene is well set up with like like mini little pillow fights and the music, the song pillow talk. And there's an energy there because your main male character writes music and that fits well into the story and brings some energy to it. Because at the center of this you have Rock Hudson and Doris Day playing Brad and Jan and they're on a party line. So to explain that to a lot of people today who don't even have landlines, wouldn't know what this is, they share a number. And they have to make sure that they're not on the phone when somebody else wants to use it. So you have Doris Day's character, Jan, who listens in on all of Brad's conversations with this endless sea of women. And he's a player, which is very interesting thinking about Rock Hudson in that role. But he is tall, he's handsome, he's really charismatic and he has a command of the screen and Doris Day has the same kind of energy not as tall she's not six foot five but she has that charisma and the two of them have great chemistry and you have the whole cliche what are now cliches of romantic comedies like even in some like it hot it's you're disguising yourself to be somebody else but you know the person you really are is falling for this person and you really want to feel how you really feel, but you know, you've dug yourself too deep because you're trying to hide who you are. Because they don't like each other on the phone, but they hit it off when they meet in person. But Brad's not exactly who he, she thinks he is. And you have this other layer here where Tony Randall plays his friend who's in love with her, but he's trying to make sure that he uh, his friend doesn't wind up in this relationship because he doesn't want to lose him. So, extremely selfish. And so he tries to throw her through, through a loop, and you know what? They fall for each other, because of course. And they have great chemistry, and you can see why they do. There's a lot of energy, there's a lot of fun, zany kinds of scenarios, even though some of the gags in this are terrible. Like, bad. There's this running gag that this doctor and nurse thinks that Brad is the first pregnant man. And I'm like, who came up with this? And it's just a really bad joke and it keeps popping up. And unfortunately, like, the film ends on the punchline to that joke. And I'm just like, why? That doesn't work. It leaves you, left me with a bad taste in my mouth. That last frame, I'm just like, come on. It's bad. It's not funny. But you have this chemistry, this story, and you've seen these kinds of stories in a lot of rom-coms, and I think their chemistry makes it work well enough. But here's the thing. There's a lot of comments and themes and ideas in this film that don't really feel right in 2021. There's a lot of sexism, like him giving her crap because, like, she... Like, a woman can't live alone, and basically she's like the more uptight kind of shrewish character, and he needs to let her out of her shell. And of course he has to because she's a woman and needs his help. And that, that doesn't feel right at this point, and it feels like Pillow Talk in that way feels very dated. There's a lot of jokes, too, that feel really dated, and like, he break, like breaks into her home apartment. Tate lifts her out of her bed and walks her across town to his apartment. And like, he, she tries to grab a cop and he's like, I don't blame him for wanting to pick you up. <laughs> it's just like, all these people are, it's like, he's very obviously forcing this woman to do something and everyone's like, oh, so cute. And it's just like, 
I don't think this really works, and it's not really funny at this point. So, here's the thing. If you're okay with going in here with the lens of, you know, this is from 1959, this is what you should expect, I thought it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it. I think that the two leads really sell the film, Rock Hudson and Doris Day, and also beautiful color and design throughout the film brings a lot of vibrance to it. So in the end, I feel like Pillow Talk is a fun, and if you're okay with ignoring some uh, some potentially concerning things, I think you'll have a lot of fun with Pillow Talk. And if you love rom-coms, it's right up your alley. But those are my thoughts on Pillow Talk. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.